Hey YouTube, One Cheap Mackhead here. Today we're going to look at ripping and encoding your DVDs so you can back them up on your computer and watch them wirelessly. You're going to need two programs. One of them is Handbrake. Now Handbrake's an encoding program. It's one of the best out there and it's absolutely free. So you don't have to worry about putting any money down on this one. And the other one is another free app called Mac the Ripper. If you've used a Mac even a little bit, you should have heard about Mac the Ripper. It's one of the best ripping programs out there. And it's, again, absolutely free. You can find both of these online. Mac the Ripper. You can find Mac the Ripper at MacUpdate.com. It's a good site. has lots of good applications for the Mac. And you can find Handbrake at Handbrake.fr. Let's see. There you go. Handbrake.fr. Again, absolutely free. So what we're going to want to do is put your disk in. I love Red vs. Blue. I'm a big Red vs. Blue fan. And uh, I'd love to be able to watch this on my Apple TV. So, oh, and before I go ahead with this, let me just say this is an educational video. Um, the laws in your areas may not apply. So, check with your local laws first. Alright. Just let that sink in. So, first put in your disk. <clears throat> Usually, um, IMAX DVD player will pop up and um, get in your way. So, I like to shut that down before it gets too into playing. There we go. There's DVD player quit that out and you're wanting you're gonna want to go to Mac the Ripper Mac the Ripper should automatically detect it it's scanning it as you can see and the best way I found this is you can do either two things you can rip the entire disk or you can rip certain parts of the disk now when I've done a few red versus blue uh, DVDs before and the problem I've come across is that not all the times the main track is an English track so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip the entire disc um, and then we're gonna come back and go through handbrake and I'll show you how to encode so all you need to hit is go and it's gonna start ripping right away this will take a little bit it might take 30 to 40 minutes uh, depending on the size of the disc usually usually discs are from four and a half gigs to about seven gigs so Really it it can depend on how big the disc is how long the movie is how many versions of the movie is it uncut? Um, is it a director's cut is there multiple versions of the same movie on the disc? Um, so we're gonna let this load and we'll be right back All right, so we're back and Mac the Ripper is done ripping our DVD to the location um, that you wanted. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use Handbrake. Handbrake's pretty simple. What you're wanting, what you're going to want to do is go to Source, go to wherever your ripped movie is. So go to Season Four RVB. That's the title of the disc and there's going to be a video TS folder. You want to click on that, click open. Handbrake's going to scan. It's going to look for the most likely um, main feature which it pops up here. 1 minute 41 or 1 hour 41 minutes and 50 seconds. It's also one thing I like about Handbrake is going to <clears throat> include all the chapters. Sometimes you might rip a movie and it's just one big um, video file. And there's no chapters, there's there's no bookmarks. 
So what Handbrake's going to do is it's going to allow you to have bookmarks throughout the movie or uh, chapters throughout the movie where they usually would be. So what you're going to want to do is hit that. MP4 file, very important. The codex is going to be H.264. And consistent quality. Pretty much all of this stuff, unless you know what you're doing, I wouldn't recommend going through any of it. The file is going to be as big as the file is going to be. You can target size it. Um, you'll lose quality. Um, so that's up to you, really. Unless you're working on a very limited amount of space. But these days, hard drives are cheap. So, so what you're going to want to do is just hit start. And it's going to start encoding right away. And again, this could take a while. 57, 59 minutes. Um, this all depends really on how fast your processor is. Um, I only have a Core 2 Duo uh, 3.06. This is a Fall 09 Mac. So it's not going to move as fast as, say, some of the newer ones. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to let Handbrake do its work, and then we'll come back. All right. Thanks. All right. So we're back, and Handbrake is done encoding our video. So what we're going to do is click OK, and we're pretty much done with this. What you're going to want to do is go to the place where you saved uh, your file. I put it in a file like this. And what we're going to want to do now, since you have this file, this file works. Um, open with QuickTime. So this is the working file. As you can see. So that's working. Now what you want to do is you want to put this into your iTunes folder. Pretty simple. Here's my iTunes folder. Here's my movies folder. All you have to do, drag this down and it'll create a file. What's going to do is actually going to copy the file into your iTunes folders. So the copy that you have here, this copy, you can delete that right away after it's done copying. So it's going to take a few seconds. Okay, so it's good. It's in here. Now the next step you want to do, if you're like me, this is not necessary, but something I like to do, I like to keep it looking good, my um, my files. These are some of the ones I've bought, I've ripped, and I've put on my computer. Starship Troopers, uh, The Thing. As you can see, <clears throat> it still has the RVB under slash or underscore season 4. Oh, we don't need that. Um, and it doesn't, you know, there's not all this information. So what you're going to want to do, go to get info. First thing, artwork. You can add a DVD cover. So we're going to go to desktop, red versus blue. Here's a DVD cover for season four. Choose. All right. Info. Make this a little nicer. Red vs. Blue Season 4. And I like to look up on IMDb to get all the information. So this would be 2006. Director is Matt Hollum. Uh, comedy and then what's nice is just throw out a little description 
that'll show up uh, that will show up in your um, iTunes library it's a little description like most of the movies you rent or you buy have so all you need to do is press OK and you got a perfectly good looking red versus blue completely ripped and it works just fine now we're going to take a look at it on the Apple TV alright so here we are we got Apple TV hooked up and here's the Apple TV menu so we can go to movies and shows all the contents and there is get there there we go red versus blue season four no, it's not showing up so good um, yeah Oop. So red red versus blue hit play and you can enjoy it in the comfort of your own living room alright well that's it YouTube that's all you need to know about ripping your own DVDs and coding them and putting them onto your iTunes library so you can enjoy them over airplay alright well see you next video bye you must die I alone am best